Now, this is a special hospital commission workshop. Uh, there will not be any business uh, uh, done today during this meeting. It's uh, strictly a, a workshop, and uh, we're just happy to have everyone here that's here. Sure. So today we're going to receive information um, on our business, a little bit on our business, and then on uh, um, debt, our capacity to take on debt. Uh, an overview from Bill Donatelli for with this and I think we started with one and the initial one we were working with was you know let's go out and borrow by nine million dollars and expand the bed so we can handle some increased volume uh, and then I've been asked to kind of look at two other options what if we borrowed ten million dollars and twelve million and did some additional projects or what if we did everything that the facility master plan had to do uh, what does it look like uh, we've looked at an interest rate of about three and a half percent. We looked at hospital volumes staying where they are currently, with the exception that there's expected to be potentially some pretty significant increases in orthopedics. I think you've seen that over the last couple months, but expect to see that grow significantly. Uh, the numbers we build into that uh, is once this project's done, you have the beds to take care of patients. That inpatient that you'll be doing. You know, it's a roughly four orthopedic cases more a week, 200 more cases a year. And then future years after that, that would increase by about one other case per week. So at the end of the five-year projections, you're doing a lot of inpatient um, uh, orthopedics. Uh, some increase in outpatient orthopedics, but not a lot. Uh, a lot of those are going to the surgical center. Some more of those are coming here with some growth there. All other hospital volumes uh, projected to stay the same. Uh, we are projecting the continuation of the critical access program and one of the risk areas I think that if we talk about risk it's going to ex exist is that um, you are you know, your current commercial rates are going to continue for the length of this project and um, the payer mix uh, is going to stay the same so there are you know some significant increases in volume there are some increases in staffing and other supply costs I think that you know the bottom line is that um, you know if, if you move with any three of the f current projects uh, your net present value of those projects are going to cover the cost of borrowing so you do have the potential to cover all three of those uh, but it's not without risk and uh, this gives you kind of a high level numbers of one of the examples but and, and what we've done so far is just taken the project in itself and not build it into the current project projections uh, with some refining to do that a big part of that, and we talked about this a couple months ago, I think, is about 51% of the borrowing that you do and the interest occurring with that borrowing comes from the critical access hospital program. Uh, but there are some risk here. Uh, the biggest risk in the project is you could lose orthopedic business. And if you, know, we, if you borrow about $9 million, your debt to equity ratio is 0 0.8, is 0.85. That puts you at about the 75th percentile in Minnesota for other hospitals. So you're, you'd be pretty heavily leveraged, even at $9 million. You borrowed the full $18 million, you'd be pretty heavily leveraged in terms of the borrowing you did you don't afford. So that, that's uh, some, some risk and some issues that, that you want to be concerned about. Focus has been on orthopedics, yeah. but the community has other medical issues also. So yeah. that has to be kept in mind so that the beds are not just exclusively yeah, and, for the and these, orthos. And, I mean, that's, these beds would not be exclusively for orthopedics. Right. Uh, if you grew the business in other business lines, it, it, would, it would only help them. You know, it, it would only enhance the profitability of it. So if I had to summarize what you said, um, really Medicare will pay for just over half of um, a project like this. Um, that gets pretty darn attractive. It, I mean, that, it's, yeah, I mean, it, it, yeah, I mean, we've got hospitals, you know, it, yeah, I mean, it does make it pretty attractive. It, it particularly makes it attractive from a cash flow standpoint. So we, from our uh, master <coughs> facility plan, went and broke up um, pieces that were logical um, into decision points. Um, and these can be modified, but for the sake of evaluation uh, today and into the future, um, we broke it up into the brown pieces. Uh, you see 
um, with the goal of adding patient rooms, expanding surgery, and uh, expanding rehab. And so that's what these three things do, uh, or four, I guess there's four colors, five colors, uh, in progressive ways. And I guess I can't speak for the entire uh, council, but the city is, uh, feel like it is, if we can justify it, you know, we probably would be well behind or behind the project to, to do this. You know, we had the meeting a week ago, and I think the community feels that way. And if we're going to do what the community feels, and we can afford to do it, uh, justify it, uh, support it. So to clarify our next steps, uh, uh, it would seem to me that what needs to happen is that the next official meetings down the road <coughs> the hospital commission some some discussion and some decisions will need to be made and then that moves then to the city and then that also moves to uh, this group to finalize the additional figures that we need 